Hello, I'm Assistant Commonwealth Attorney Dan Laren here once again with the case of the week. This case begins at about 4.20 in the morning on March 13, 2011, over near Transylvania University. A police officer there observed a disorder inside a vehicle near the campus, which ended with several gunshots, a bleeding man falling to the street, and the car fleeing the scene. The victim identified the shooter to the police officer before he was transported to UK for treatment of gunshot wounds to his head and his hand. The description was placed out through, throughout the city and Lexington police officers found the vehicle. Uh, a short pursuit ensued which ended when the vehicle crashed into a marked cruiser. Three people ran on foot from the vehicle. Police caught two of these people, one of them being the shooter who had been identified with the victim, who resisted arrest and had to be subdued with a taser. This man was identified as Darian Morgan, 18 years of age. Police found a handgun in the vehicle. Morgan denied any involvement with the shooting and he told the police that the victim had been shot when he got into the car. Morgan, who was covered in blood at the time, said that he gave the victim a last hug before dropping him off on the street up near Transy. Now the case progressed through the system and as time went on, the witnesses and the victim began to change their stories about the incident. The other two witnesses who were in the vehicle and who were identified told authorities that they were either drunk or had been passed out and had no recollection of the gunshots the car chase or the crash that ended the chase. The victim became very vague about how his injuries were caused and in spite of the statements he made to law enforcement and health care professionals who worked very hard to save his life was unclear about the cause of his injuries. So ultimately the case resolved with a guilty plea. Morgan pled guilty to assault, criminal mischief and wanton endangerment felony offenses for shooting the victim in the head and for crashing into the occupied police cruiser as well as resisting arrest and possession of controlled substance misdemeanors. Morgan, who is now 19 years of age, had no criminal history that was significant prior to this offense, was ultimately sentenced to serve six years in the penitentiary. This case is important because it shows uh, CSI type evidence, blood spatter, shell casings, weapons, all of which were recovered in this case. While they're important, they're not enough to make a case by itself. The witnesses are important and the victims are important and in cases like this one where the witnesses and the victims stories change it has a drastic effect on the outcome of, of cases like this one. I'm Assistant Commonwealth Attorney Dan Laren. This is the case of the week.